Yes, I went in and out of jail during the civil rights movement, even as I was trying to become a physician. Yes, I took time out of practice to go to jail with the students, the students of Nonviolent Coordinated Committee, because they were the leaders. And so when they were getting arrested for demonstrating in Albany, Georgia, where I was trying to get a practice started, I told my wife and my four children, honey, I am concerned about those students being arrested because all they ask for the right to register and vote. What are you going to do? I'm going to join them. You're going to do what? Yeah, I'm going to join them. You have four children there. I know that, honey. But I'm doing that for them also. So I went to Flint, Michigan, from Des Moines, Iowa, where I was greeted by the administrator who said to me, yes, we're going to let you into this program of training, but you are not to take care of white patients. Well, what are I going to do when they sign in? You are to let them go by you. Well, after I'd been there for a little while, and the white patients had gotten word of there was a black doctor there, they figured, well, it must be pretty good. They let him in here, and they started opening the doors for me to take care of patients without regard to their race, their color, their creed, their religion. But after a while, they got to the place where, well, now you are becoming extern. What do you want to do? I said, when I finish this, I want to become a doctor. I want to get a training program at this hospital because it had that reputation. A.C. Johnson said to me, he said, well, I know the kind of trouble you've been calling in this civil rights movement, but all I want to know is if we let you in this hospital, will you call a demonstration in this hospital? No, Dr. Johnson, I need to get my education. What I do thereafter is something yet to be decided. Okay, they gave me a chance. Not only did I finish my externship there, I did also my internship there, and then I was led into the surgery program. I became a part of that group, and for 20 years thereafter, I worked as a surgeon at Arts in the Hospital.